Hello and welcome to another Algebra 1 video tutorial. In this tu tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to program the quadratic formula. And if you remember, um, if you can get a quadratic in this form, some ax squared plus some b times x plus c, if you get it equal to 0, then you can say or solve x equals the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Okay, so you should remember that from uh, learning the quadratic formula. Now we're going to program our calculator, calculator to run the quadratic formula. And this is going to work for TI-83s and TI-84s. Okay, so first thing you want to do is press program. We are going to make a new program. So scroll to the right, create new. Let's name this maybe something like quad form for quadratic formula. So get your, uh, you can find where all the buttons are. It's kind of hard to, uh, this will be hard to text on if you were a texter. All right, so Q, U, A, D, and then F, O, R, M. Okay, and then uh, that's use that because you get eight characters to use, eight letters to use. Press enter. All right, let's um, start this. The first thing I want to do is remind you when you run this program that you need to have it equal to zero, your quadratic equation equal to zero. So let's display. So press program. Let's display some text. So go to uh, press program, scroll over to the input outputs, and we're going to go option three to display. Now I need to get some quotes here. Start text with quotes. And let's display um, ax squared. I need to get off the alpha. ax squared plus bx plus c equals, and that's under second math. It's under the test option, second math and equals zero, and then we're going to end the quotes. Okay, so that's what's going to pop up when we run the quadratic formula first. And that, to me, is just going to give you a reminder. Get your equation equal to zero before you pick out your a, b, and c values. So if you can get the a, b, c values, you can run this. So the first thing we want to do is, ha is input our a, b, and c values so that we can eventually use those in the quadratic formula. So press enter to get a new line of code. And let's prompt, do a prompt. So program, input outputs, and we want to prompt number two. Prompt, and we want it to prompt, uh, we want it to input A, B, and C. So alpha A, comma, that's right above the seven, alpha B, comma, and alpha C. All right, so that'll just ask you A equals, enter it in, press enter, and so forth, and B and C when we run this. Okay, so now the next thing I wanted to do is find the discriminant to, to determine if this is going to have two solutions, one solution, or no solutions, or if you need, ever need to get the exact solution, solutions, um, we, we need the discriminant. So that's b squared minus 4ac. So that's the next thing I'm going to calculate. b squared minus 4ac. And I need to store that to some variable. Let's store it. Hey, it was a discriminant, so let's store it into D. B squared minus 4AC. Store that into D. And let's uh, display that discriminant on our calculator. So I would want to press program over to input outputs. Let's display. Uh, but let's get some text here first. Let's display that the discriminant is, and then we'll display value D. So discriminant. D-I-S-C. You can abbreviate this if you want or write it all out to the discriminant. I-N-A-N-T. Discriminant. And then I want a space. That's the zero discriminant is. Yeah, let's give another space and close the quotes. Enter a comma. Oh, uh, I messed up there. I just want alpha plus quotes, comma, and let's display D. So alpha D. Press enter, get a new line of code. Now let's do the quadratic formula. So we want 
to do the opposite of b plus or minus, but we don't have a plus or minus key, so we got to do uh, parentheses around the numerator. So parentheses around b squared, uh, opposite of b, so negative b. Oh, I needed alpha b. So now I got to get back into program. So got to quit out. And you probably do this at one point too. Uh, you make a mistake, get out of the program, so you got to go back to edit. So I'm going to edit quad, quad form, go back down there. All right, so I need alpha B, not the apps. Okay, opposite of B plus, let's do the plus answer first. The square root, square root of, now I can do B squared minus 4AC, but I've already stored that to D, so let's just do the, uh, the square root of D. Close it, but I need to close another set of parentheses. So I need two parentheses there. Now, divided by 2a, but I can't just do 2a. I need to do the quantity, parentheses around 2a. OK, let's store that into some of the next available vari variable, probably e. So store and then alpha e. OK, now there's two solutions. Now remember, it's negative b plus or minus. Now we do need to do the minus. I wish there was a copy and paste here, but there's not. So we need to type this again, but using minus. So the opposite of b minus the square root, square root of d. Close it, close it, and divide it by the quantity 2a and close it and then let's store that into f alpha f oh i need to press the store key store it to alpha f okay now we should have our two values our two solutions if there is two um, and then we need to display those so press enter let's do another display so program over to input outputs let's display let's put some text though so we say what the solutions are so the first thing it's going to list display is this uh, this then the discriminant is something and then we want to display the solutions are and let's go alpha let's go let's lock our quotes here or let's lock our alpha alpha lock second alpha locks it so now I have quotes and let's say solutions 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 are. Maybe put a space. Close the quotes. Now we're going to need to turn that off. Comma. And then we're going to display E and then F. So let's go alpha E, comma, alpha F. All right. Hey, this should work. Let's try it. So quit out. So second mode, quit out of there. Um, and let's solve uh, a quadratic of the form 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 equals 0. Let's use our quadratic program to solve this. So press program. Let's execute quadratic formula. Press enter. Now, notice this, this little reminder here, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Our equation is equal to 0, so the a is 2. So enter in 2, press enter. Should prompt b is negative 5. Press enter. Should prompt c, which is negative 12. Press enter. The discriminant is 121. That's a perfect square, so we get the solutions are 4 and negative 1.5. And those are the solutions. X equals those two. All right, let's try one that's not a perfect square. So something like, let's say you started with negative 4R equals 2R squared plus 1. Well, the first thing you'd need to do is get this equal to 0. So we would add 4R so to both sides. So we'd get 0 equals 2R squared plus 4R plus 1. Now we can uh, get run the program again. So I can just press enter again if I want. And uh, let's clear this out. Let's run back here. So, okay, so we enter in 2 for A, 4 for R, B, 1 for C, press enter. 
And in this case, we get a discriminant that is a non-perfect square, so we just get an approximation of quite a few decimals worth of approximation. But if you have to list the exact value, here's what you gotta do. You have to remember the b is four, so you'd have to do the opposite of four plus or minus the square root of eight all over two a, a was two, so all over four. Now you may have to simplify this radical a little further, but that's how you could get the exact answer if you had to also. Okay, and then there's also times where you get the square root of a negative and it's gonna give you non-real solutions or something like that. Um, so if that's the case, you know there's just no solutions. It'll say something like non-real answer. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.